One of the best, if not the best, tours of this upcoming spring is definitely Slayer Testament in Carcass. It's going to be a riot every single night. That's firing off very soon. And right now, we have Testament's frontman, the legendary, the one and only Chuck Billy on the phone. What's happening, man? What's happening? Dude, we're stoked to talk to you. Stoked to see you, too, because when we found out that you were coming to Fargo on a Saturday night with Slayer and Carcass, like, what the hell? Talk about the best news you could ever get, man. How excited are you guys for that tour? Yeah, it's going to be awesome, man. It's a great way to start the year, but, you know, Slayer, us Testament go way back, so uh, we knew it's going to be good times and good, great tour, especially with Carcass uh, on the bill. It's going to be Yes, man. Yeah, for sure. Now, uh, I remember like a few years back, you guys were supposed to roll into Fargo. For some reason, that got canceled. I can't remember why, though. Uh, can you remember the last time you guys played in town here? Oh, I don't. I don't remember. Um, it's been a long time, though, but uh, Saturday night in Fargo sounds like it'd be, it's going to be a good time for sure. Oh, especially <laughs> earlier that day. It's actually the St. Patrick's State downtown Fargo pub crawl. Oh, geez. <laughs> So oh, great. yeah, great. And, and the venue <laughs> and the venue is right downtown. So I'm thinking you guys need to go out and celebrate and then get on stage and just rock the hell out. Oh, it's gonna be one of those shows. Oh no, <laughs> it's gonna be messy. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome, dude. <laughs> great, I look forward to that. <laughs> so, Chuck, new album this year. Is that what's up? You guys working on that right now? Tell us, tell us pretty much everything. Yeah. You, everything you can tell us about it at this point. Yeah. Well, we've been working on it for quite a while, and um, of course, the Slayer Tour came up, so we decided, yeah, we're going to do that for sure. Uh, we have all the music finished. I'm working out a lot of the lyrics right now. Um, actually, Gene and Eric actually just went in the studio two weeks ago and tracked the single. We got a single we're working on nice. uh, for the tour that's going to come out. And um, yeah, so after the tour is over, we go right in the studio. We got about two and a half month window to get the record recorded and mixed and should be out hopefully, you know, sometime right after that. Yeah, very cool. I love the fact you guys are going to do a single, then go on the road. I mean, it really keeps things fresh. Now, do you have a title for the album yet, or do you have any ideas of what you want to call it? Uh, yeah, we, I think we do, but I don't think we're all unanimous yet, so I don't want to say it, but <laughs> it's close. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to it, man. I, I just want to ask you real quick about working with Gene on the drums, because yes. it seems like since, since I've been growing up, I'm 27 years old, Gene Hoagland always finds his way into some of my my favorite bands and then they put out their best stuff do you feel like he has that kind of impact with you guys as well oh totally well, gene's uh such a great drummer and great guy and yeah i mean he, there's he's such a monster on the drums he does but with anybody he plays he just he takes it up a notch you know especially for eric he really drives eric's guitar playing you know yeah, now, okay, new new material since you guys have been working on it. Does it have a similar feel to Dark Roots of Earth? I'd say it doesn't. I think uh, Eric's probably got his foot on the gas a little more. I think we're leading. There's a lot more blast beats on the drums going on. Tempos are a little faster. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a little more aggressive, aggressive and faster than Dark Roots. Damn, that's saying something, man. I mean, it's, it's almost hard to believe Dark Roots of Earth four years ago already. Where the hell did the time go? But in that time frame, what do you think has inspired you as a musician to, to work on this new stuff? What gets you going? What new music are you into right now? And does the new stuff inspire you? Or do you just kind of, you know, just go with your own flow? Um, well, I get inspired. I don't know if there's nothing really current, current. I guess the latest thing that's been inspired is like you know, the latest Lamb of God and his kick-ass and Slayer. Yeah. You know, them putting out those great records really got me inspired to, like, you know, write something kick-ass as well. Um, but right now, since we've been in the writing mood for the last, you know, three, four months, just kind of just staying focused on, on our stuff. And, and you know, we're going on the tour, but it's going to be like an eight-song show, so we have a lot of time to keep working on the, on the music and on, on the vocals. Um, on the road so now have you guys ever recorded an album while on tour is that something that would ever interest you at all we never recorded but you know we wrote really hard the new order record just the fact that we're in europe and we we're bored on a bus in the winter and had an acoustic guitar and decided to write the record you know so it was, that was pretty wild like writing the whole record on a, an acoustic guitar yeah, that sounds awesome. Well, if it's heavy on an acoustic, it's probably going to be heavy, you know, when you get laid down the studio, right? Exactly. I mean, we did acoustic, we had the vocals and everything. It was just like, wow, 
this sounds cool now. This is going to be great when we plug in. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. What's well, going down March 12th, man? Slayer, Testament, Carcass. I think it's I think it's safe to say we're probably looking forward to this show more than just about anything that we got coming to the area <laughs> this year. This is going to be sick, man. Plus having that pub crawl the exact same day. Like you said, it's going to be one of those shows. So it's been a while <laughs> since we've seen Testament. Anything you want to throw out there to the fans in Fargo? Excited to see you guys. Well, just we're going to definitely break out some, uh, go way back in the library and dig out some more thrashier songs for this tour. Not that the early stuff isn't thrashy enough, but some just more real brutally heavier songs. So it's going to be exciting for some fans that have been seeing us for a few years. They're going to get some stuff they haven't seen in a while. So it's going to be good. Oh, my God. We can't wait. It's going to be a sick day. Thanks for taking the time, Chuck. Hope you have an awesome day. We'll see you March 12th, man. Yeah, I'll please see you on that crawl. <laughs> we'll see you in downtown, man. <laughs> Take care, man.